Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly crypto review. My name is Bowen, one of the senior analysts at Pure Investments, and I want to talk to you guys about the market this last week. In case you can't hear from my voice, I'm in a great mood, partially because life, but more importantly, as per always, crypto. Crypto is back. I can officially say it, and I am pumped. Now, there is a small caveat to that, which I will be getting into in just a minute. But before I get into that, I just want to say check us out in Pure Investments on our Discord and online at pureinvestments.org. We've got some really great information. Let me just say, helping people deal with this bear market and getting back into it has been a really awesome experience for me. And I'm sure even more awesome for people whose wallets have been quite happy. Uh, you can check it out in the description below. But no more plugging. Let's get right into it. So this week, I'm starting right on our Global Charts Total Market Cap page. And I'm pumped to see the graph looking uh, exactly like I said it would. If you look back, I think three weekly cryptos or two weekly crypto reviews, I have been calling this spot on. And I'm so pumped <laughs> to, uh, to be right about this. Um, yeah, and also for the record, when Bitcoin is going up to 16,000, I did call it going down to 8,000. Um, and I was wrong, went all the way down to 6,000. But um, if you're thinking, well, I don't know that's true, just some guy saying that on a YouTube video, you can go ahead, join our premium section of our Discord, check in the history. Yes, I said it. Now, without any more self-plugging, let's look into this last year. Because it has been, what a year for crypto. Um, you know, here we were at a market cap, a tiny market cap. Here we were, people thinking, up, oh, we're going to hit a trillion dollars. Then we dropped all the way down to um, a low of $300 billion, which is hugely scary for a lot of us. But when looking at the log graph, like I said in a couple of videos ago, I said, you know, and I was kind of looking at it right here, I believe, right here. That's where it was. I was saying, you know, this dip looks a lot like this dip. And we had that final little up movement and then a huge crash. And I said, you know, I see the parallels between this. And thank goodness I was indeed right. Um, we, we are, as a matter of fact, seeing the return of cryptocurrencies. We are seeing the return of Bitcoin. We are seeing the return <laughs> of my personal uh, portfolio. And I hope yours as well. Um, and I want to jump in. I want to jump to another topic, something that we were talking about at Pure Investments, which was the flippening, the possibility of Ethereum taking over Bitcoin. Um, and like I said in my last video, maybe two ago, there was three actual possibilities. Possibility one, Bitcoin stays king. Possibility two, the flippening, Ethereum takes over. And possibility three, they both grow together. So going down to our um, total market dominance. Again, this is overall, but let's look in the last year because that's what we're really curious about you can see you know here was the big drop off we just had the growth of ripple then the death of ripple then ethereum kind of becoming huge and it looks like the flipping is not happening for now it looks like they both will be growing together or bitcoin will be growing back i think this is a time for bitcoin to hit all new highs but let me explain again there is a caveat to that getting back into our top five market cap currencies because that's what we're going to be focusing on today today i don't want to go over our pure investment excellent calls or other things i just really want to cover our top five because i think it's really important to look at number one thing i want to talk about is litecoin finally bought back in the top five i said it would happen if you guys listened to me awesome glad to hear it if you didn't that's okay you can listen to me this time um litecoin i said i was extremely bullish on uh for you know again the reason i said in the last video it's a cheap cryptocurrency, which for those of us who don't know, it doesn't really matter, but people think it does. And so when they see it on, for example, um, GDAX or Coinbase, they say, oh, yep, I'd rather, you know, get two Litecoins rather than I can't get a full Bitcoin because people don't know how it works. But um, you can see Litecoin is back in our top five, which I'm excited about because of our top five currencies, Litecoin is one of the best um, given that for those of you who know my opinion i think bitcoin is a trash currency but it is the face of face of cryptocurrency therefore it will stay around for a while ethereum which is an important backbone of most other cryptocurrencies at the moment ripple which is not a cryptocurrency it is a cloud-based fiat currency bitcoin cash which is uh, bitcoin cash then litecoin which of our of the originals you know is such an important cryptocurrency and it's fine it's nice to see it finally back in the number top five um 
really nice to see you know it's beating cardano by a good amount we're seeing um these other really popular ones starting to die down which i did expect to happen including eos which still has not released their product dash has been a slow grower and i think will stay in the top 20 pretty much at least for two more years monero also doing quite well um, but let's just jump right in and look at bitcoin so looking at bitcoin i decided to not use any lines for right now because i just wanted to look at the graphs um because a big question that a lot of people have been giving me is how does bitcoin control the market so as you may notice by my tabs this is bitcoin usd ethereum usd ripple usd bitcoin cash usdt and litecoin usd this is because of I wanted to just show you guys the parallel of prices. So I decided to line up the timelines, April to April, and excuse me, I might be a little bit off, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is just for visualization. Look how similar the graphs are. So if you notice, the graphs are very similar. I'm not saying they're the same, but look at Litecoin. Shot up, fell down, now it's rising. Shot up, again, it's not as extreme as Litecoin, but still, shot up, fell down, now is rising. Ripple, shot up, fell down, now is rising. Ethereum, this is kind of our outlier because Ethereum is the only one that kind of disagrees with Bitcoin. But even here, shot up, fell down, now is rising. Bitcoin, yep, shot up, fell down, now is rising. Um, and so I just want to show you guys the parallel. That's how Bitcoin controls the market. And so what was I saying about the flipping? Well, Ethereum is the only currency that looks a little bit different. You can see there's spikes here, there's dips here. Um, it stagnates. That's because Ethereum has its own uh control sorry wrong tab has its own control of the market it has you know right here it had 20 percent of the market control with bitcoin only at 34 um so that's why i just wanted to show that really quickly but uh now we can look at all my pretty lines so looking at all my lines first we're going to look at a log graph because for those of you who know i like looking at bitcoin a log graph to see it as much more linear scale rather than exponential growth we dip below my low support line, which really scared me. I did th think we were going to see a rebound eventually, but at this point I kind of went, oh, geez, I don't know when. I saw MACD cross, and I said if this holds, again, you, you can check my last video, and I said if this holds, I think we're going to see it rise back up because this one, for example, we almost had it, and then we got rejected and fell back down. We ended up having it, and we rose, and we broke through this resistance line that you can see we fluctuated at and we went to the next one and we fluctuated had a quick flag right here which makes sense because if you look um because some of these lines remember are drawn in log some of them are on linear this line is our resistance line top to top right and we are breaking through it at the moment now that this is a daily candle our daily candle is not closed and is it possible that we foom, drop right back down yes do i think so hell no uh, Bitcoin is going up and up. Will we flag here? Possibly, but the fact that we've got risen above this line is extremely bullish. Um, back to a log graph once again. You can see this is now a top line in the log graph. You can see we're heading towards that. Once we pass that line, the 12,600 mark, and held above that for a day, I think Bitcoin can see its next bull run. Yes, I do mean back to 20K, and I mean farther. I mean to 50K. I think it is quite possible for Bitcoin to um, hit 50K. How? Well, let's look, shall we? Um, this is the wrong graph. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, so for Bitcoin to hit $50,000 just based off of market cap, um, we need to see it increase fivefold. Do I think that's possible? Well, given that our overall uh, market capitalization is only a half of a trillion dollars, absolutely. I think we could hit $4 trillion by the end of uh, this year, 2018. Um, I think that is very possible, in which case Bitcoin hitting 50000 is absolutely possible. Could it go higher? Sure. Well, not hit 50000 Sure. I'm not saying it's a guarantee. This is purely speculation. This is not based off of technical or fundamental analysis. It's just my thoughts. Um do I know where it'll go? No, but I think it's going up, and that's what really matters. Is it going up or down, right? And Bitcoin is going up. We are breaking through resistance line after resistance line. In my last video, I said that this right here, 11.5, was a really important. Oops, was a really really important um, line to break, and you can see we are testing it. And if the daily candle closes, and then their next daily starts and continues upwards above that 11.5 line, I think we're going to see some huge growth. Again, 11.5 is so strong because we fluctuated at this point for such a long time. Our next resistance line is right here at 14. And, um, you know, people often ask me about my short-term Bitcoin estimates. Is it going to go up to 
if we're going to go from 11 to 10, I don't, well, I don't know. That's the fact is I don't know. But I can predict longer term, like in the next at least month, I am bullish on Bitcoin because we have finally seen the reversal we've been waiting for. And if you look at our dips, this is the reversal. It makes sense. Will we have a downward flag again? Well, well, here we went up and then down. So, yeah, it's totally possible. To me, I think we could definitely reject the 11.5, go down to maybe 10, and then start our next bull run. But am I generally bullish? Absolutely. Moving on next to Ethereum US dollars, because again, I want to look at US dollars just to compare the price. We are seeing the rebound finally happen with the flag. Excuse me. Um, but let's look at it um, in terms of Bitcoin. Again, I always pick the top one for top volume. Ethereum in comparison to Bitcoin is falling. Why? Well, simple. Bitcoin is going on its bull run. Excuse me. Sorry. Well, simple. Bitcoin is going on its bull run. Um, this is going to cause Ethereum to drop in relative price in relation to Bitcoin. Um, the flipping is not happening at the moment. But going back to a U.S. dollar graph, because I know some of you are U.S. dollar investors, um, I think it's important to look at Ethereum is also doing well. And I think Ethereum could also see a huge reversal right here. You can see, look at in the two hour for some more detail. We're seeing some kind of stagnation in the price. And I generally say stag price stagnation in large cryptocurrencies is a bullish sign. Um, why? Well, look right here. It's price stagnation. Up. Um, price stagnation up just because big cryptocurrencies grow it's what they do so if it's stagnating that just means someone's collecting it and um, yeah in general that's what that means and if we look here we can see the volume has been a lot lower in Ethereum USD which makes sense because once again Bitcoin has been taken over Bitcoin volume is back baby people have finally realized um, in terms of Ethereum on a Bitcoin graph when will we see it stop falling? Again, hard to know. If we look at Ethereum just based off of um, its total market capitalization, it's controlled by U.S. dollars. So looking at this graph to determine when it will bounce is kind of hard. Um, but I could say I could see it going as low as 0 0.068. That's assuming Bitcoin doesn't have a massive run, in which case Ethereum, Bitcoin could just plummet down to um, here again, I guess, or here. Um, just because those are frequent support lines that Ethereum has had. But Bitcoin, uh, it's basically relying on Bitcoin, what Ethereum to Bitcoin is going to do, obviously. But Ripple, let's talk about Ripple. So Ripple, I said, would eventually bounce because um, institutional investors like it. And I still believe that. Um, Ripple is being held up at this price. Again, the volume is not there right now. So we've had a huge amount of volume, actually. But right now, it's, we've seen a decrease. The reason just being, I do think people are just moving to Bitcoin. Um, if we look at Ripple Bitcoin, again, unsurprisingly, we're going to see it drop. Again, same thing because we've seen a bull run. And again, with Ripple, to predict the price, it's easier to do with U.S. dollars because that's where the volume's at. Um, but I do think Ripple is going to see a bull run too. When Bitcoin hits a bull run, so do other cryptocurrencies. It's a matter of looking at them in terms of U.S. dollars to see that. When you look at it in terms of Bitcoin, you say, oh, look at that. Ethereum's not doing well. Well, Ethereum is doing well. Bitcoin's just doing really, really, really well. Um, next up, let's look at Bitcoin Cash. For those of you who know my feelings about Bitcoin Cash, I'm not a fan. For those of you who don't know my feelings about Bitcoin Cash, now you know. Um, again, I was just looking at USD just to compare, but let's look at, you know, in relation to Bitcoin, the only way people trade it. And Bitcoin Cash, again, my opinion, Bitcoin Cash is going to die off. Um, where are we right now? $25 billion dollars. I'd say this is overpriced by around $25 billion. Bitcoin Cash is going to die. Is it a superior to crypt, uh, crypto to Bitcoin? Yes. By much? No, not at all. Is Bitcoin good in any way? No. Improving something that doesn't work very well isn't hard. You know what I'm saying? Improving a stone tool into a bronze tool, it still isn't a chainsaw. That's what I'm trying to say. Bad analogy. But my point is Bitcoin Cash is not doing so well, and I do think it'll eventually die. I don't think it's a good investment. I don't feel a need to talk anymore about it. Um, the price is kind of flat, and I think in relation to Bitcoin, it's going to go down because Bitcoin's going to go up. Next up is Litecoin. So for those of you who know and were on the Discord, um, I'm super glad that you got to get into Litecoin. When we did at our low dips here, um, I was very happy to say I was picking some up in this area. And man, I've already doubled my money, which is so lovely. Um, 
There's really no other way to put it. It is so lovely. Um, Litecoin is doing extraordinarily well, and I think Litecoin will continue to do well. I could easily see Litecoin at 500 very soon. This is one of our few cryptocurrencies that in relation to Bitcoin, we aren't seeing a massive drop-off. Why? Because Litecoin is also having its run. You can see we did have a drop-off here as Bitcoin had its growth right there. Uh, but <laughs> Litecoin, again, I'm quite bullish. Um, they're coming out with Litecoin Pay uh, or Litecoin, um, I forget the term, but it's their Litecoin actually is their way to actually use Litecoin as a payment system, which is huge for cryptocurrencies to actually be used as payment systems, given that that's the purpose of, for example, Litecoin and Bitcoin, not the purpose of Ethereum, for those who don't know, um, but is the purpose of Litecoin and Bitcoin. Um, Litecoin, I think, is going to do extraordinarily well. I think we could hit 500 anytime soon. Dollars, to clarify, not Satoshis. Um, the reason why, again, it's cheap, they're coming out with their payment system, and Litecoin is fundamentally pretty good. It's not fantastic. There are better cryptocurrencies, but of the known ones, it is great. Um, in terms of its market capitalization, again, I think it could hit $500. Could it hit uh, so $26 billion? Do I think it could hit more than that? Absolutely. Um, I, think, I do think Litecoin could hit the third, number three spot once again. Seeing it overtake Ethereum, I'm doubtful maximum market cap i could see it at with our current market cap of uh, 500 billion dollars maximum i could see it at 50 but again um and you know 50 is um just under it's times four ish so uh, way more than 500 dollars actually but again if we grow to four trillion dollars um in that case litecoin at number three position i could see litecoin at uh what is that a hundred billion dollars um, which would be over a, f a few thousand dollars in price. I think Litecoin could do extraordinarily well. Thank you guys for watching the brief and quick overview of the happy bullish market with me, Bowen Keller from Pure Investments. Um, if you haven't checked us out, check us out on our Discord. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, you name it, we've got it. Check it out all in the description below. If you liked the video, please leave a like and comment anything you want to comment about. I'd love to hear whatever you have to say and we'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and have a wonderful day.